Welcome race fans to series 2 of the King of the Modified series. Tonight we have round 2 from the Lanier National Speedway. Race fans, it is time for those most famous words in motorsports. Drivers, start your engines! So the starting lineup for tonight's race has dodged him from pole position, although he will start from pit lane tonight after missing the start. Dakey from position two, Woody from three, followed by Fishers, Brett and Damon from four and five. Yor in six, followed by Emery and Wheeler with Brownsey and Luke from the rear after setting no time in qualifying. Alrighty folks, pace cars pulling off, green flag at the ready and racing, really gets a good start, side by side through turn 1 and 2, the field goes, looks nice and clean so far, and Emery, oh, little loose at turn 3, makes it stick, almost hits the pit wall at turn 4, gathers it up, and yes, we're all clean through turn 1 for the second time around. Turn one, back and steps out. Or oh, just avoids contact there with the 23. Tries to get going, but no, the turning circle isn't great on these modifiers. Has he been out of clear? No, big contact with Brett Fisher as he comes around unsighted through turn two. Unlucky for the number nine total tools. Machine who climbs the wall. No yellow on the track. Not sure what's going on there, but racing has kept going as both Fisher and Emery make their way to the pits unlucky for both those drivers Greg Yor now coming into turn 3 a bit of a wobble and around goes the 12 machine dangerous spot in the middle of turn 4 on board with Wheeler and oh heavy contact with the rear of Yor's car Getting ready for a restart, pace car pulls off at turn 4, Woody and Dakey from the front, and green flag, Woody gets a nice jump into turn 1, Dakey falls in behind the second, Brownsy in third, go on board with Brownsy here, he sticks and nose up the inside and gets Dakey through turns 3, Damon Fisher into the side of the number 1 car, yellow on the track again. Alright, getting for a restart here. The stewards have asked for a single file restart here due to the numerous yellows with Woody ahead of Dodgson, followed by Luke and Dakey. Green flag on the track. Nice jump there by Woody and Dodgson. Gaps the third place Luke already through turns one and two. After a rough opening, it looks like drivers have settled into a bit of a groove here, feeling out the track and that's where the machine is going to be It's going to be a long race here, it's like the laps on the board. Alright, we've got the 44 of Brownsy on screen here. He looks a little tail happy through the turns here. Hopefully he hasn't hooked that right rear already. On board with number one of Dakey and definitely tail happy through four and round he goes at the start finish line into the wall hard. Uh, checking in on the leaders here as we get around quarter race distance. Witty ahead of Dodgson and Witty big ball ride down the back straight. Throws him wide through three and four. Dodgson looks to capitalise here up the inside. 
sticks it through one and two, side by side, getting the power down. Oh, got a spinner in the background. Hopefully, he's staying green at this stage. Drag race again down into turn one, and Dodge looks like he's finally made it stick. Number 50, a Damon Fisher, who looks like he's got a real hand in the car out of two. Continues in the three and round she pirouettes into turn four again. Another spinner, but thankfully this time everyone gets by without any further contact. folks getting ready for another restart Dodge and Woody on the front row followed by Dakey, Brett Fisher, Luke Emery, Damon Fisher, Wheeler and Yor rounding out the runners still on track and green flag Dodge gets a great start almost looks like Woody missed the start they easily captured by a couple of car links through turns one and two on board of the Todd Emery here in position six following Fisher and Dahi, who look to be having a decent little scrap here. Still this battle with Brett Fisher and Dahi continues, Brett Fisher dives up the inside in the turn one, Dahi leaves him room, drag race down the back straight, looks like Dahi's hanging tough around the outside and holding on to position four, however Fisher will not let this go, Dahi goes wide through turn two, I reckon he's lost it here, Damon Fisher has a big spin in the background while this is going on, Fisher's up the inside again into turn one, but looks like to have got better drive this time and makes that position stick. Looks like Damon Fisher's day is done with an engine in the pits. Catching up the Craig Yor in the 12 machine coming up the front straight, and Brett Fisher's looped it out of four. Green flag on the track, no yellow yet again for a spinner. Flag man definitely put the flags away today as your through turn three loses the back end again. The 23 narrowly misses. All other drivers seem to get through a okay. During that caution, looks like several drivers took the opportunity to do a pit stop to get fuel and tyres as we only have three cars left on the lead lap Dodge and Woody and Brett Fisher. As we come to the green flag, Dodge and again, great restart. Witty sleeping at the wheel a little bit, or just taking it cautious. It seems though we've had so many spins this race. Traction seems to be a minimal at best at the moment. Traction be minimal at best, Dodge and lights it up out of two. Allows Wheel to gain some more ground after that poor restart. Speaking of lack of traction, definitely looks like the number four is starting to start to go away as it's really starting to slide through the turns. Now, big slide through one and two. This allows Woody up the inside of turn three. Side by side through turn four. No contact, we've got close there. Turn one, and again, Dodge is trying to pinch him, but Woody's got enough drive. They can maintain the low line. Dodge sends it hard in the one and two, but to no avail, Woody's definitely got the better drive in the 092 car, 
and finally clears another four. On board with the number four car, he comes up to pull up some of the back markers. And, oh, that's a weird one. That looks like a bit of net code there. Both drivers were on the limit of adhesion there. Jumping back on board to number four. And you're definitely loose through turn two. Oh, Dodge and gets a bit caught up in that. And around he goes on the back straight. Looks like his tyres are definitely seen better day, folks. And yet again, no caution on the truck. Oh, it's definitely getting a bit wet in here, folks. We've got both fish in the nine. Hassled strongly by the 23, the Ryan Wheeler, the 62 of Todd Emery, and the 12 of Craig Gord here. Everybody out of position and in different tyre quality. But definitely makes the racing exciting. Fisher up high, allowing those cars through, just trying to keep himself out of trouble when those clean. Battle for second here is hotting up Dodge, trying to hang on with those fire tyres. Dakey coming to hard and Dodge and big lose down the back straight, gathers it up, but no, he spun and spun into pit lane. That is costly. Coming around turn four, white flag for TJ Woody. Dakey pushing hard, but don't think he'll close up. Witty managing to hold off a charge from everyone, comes out of turn four to claim a victory. Well done. So that concludes round two from Linear National Speedway. Witty taking the win over Dakey, Brett Fisher, Todd Emery, Dodgson, your Wheeler, while Luke, Damon Fisher and Brownsey were DNFs. So after round two, we have Witty on top of the standings ahead of Emery and Dodgson tied for second. We look forward to having your company next week when we go to Langley Speedway for the very unique Oz Team Scramble format. We'll see you then.